Do you think someone could log in into Facebook and steal the entire user data with a simple command? Yes. By entering a fishy username instead of a valid username, the database query selects star from user where user is equal to dollar $user. The username turns into the fishy command. And since 1 is equal to 1 is always true, it exposes all user record to the attacker. This is a classic SQL injection problem. But this is where WAF intercepts. Before the app network receives this username, the WAF sits at the front of the network and checks the username field against a rule which we call it as the rejects. Now, let us understand this particular rejects rule. This is start indicator. It means the rule should check from the first character and not randomly anywhere. This indicates the character could only be alphanumeric and underscores. This makes sure that the minimum length for a username should be 3 and maximum should be 20. Finally, the end indicator. As start indicator, this allows you to check until the last character, where the hacker can't even pass an empty space at the end of the username. This way, Facebook avoids the invalid characters from the SQL injected username and sends back a 403 forbidden error.